In this video, we're gonna cut the top down with the number zero, and we're gonna give him a high taper on the side and in the back. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're doing a 50K subscriber giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The haircut that I'm going to demonstrate for you guys in this video is a quick 15 to 20 minute haircut tutorial. This is your bread and butter haircut. It's just a simple zero on top with a taper on the sides and in the back. We're gonna start out by creating our ball guideline all the way around the head. And this is gonna be a hot taper by the way. So if you have a little cousin or a little brother or just somebody that will let you cut your hair, that, that will let you cut their hair and you're a beginner, this is the perfect haircut to start out with. So this is the only guard that we're gonna use throughout this entire video is a zero guard. And the lever is fully closed. So all we're doing is just cutting the hair with the grain and we're cutting it to a nice even length. Notice how I'm letting the clipper glide. I'm not really just forcing it onto his head. I'm just letting it contour. And as always, be careful in the crown area. Before you cut the crown area, one tip that I can give you guys is take a moment to comb the hair and look for any swirls. Because if you see any cow leaks or any swirls, you could potentially gap the area if you don't know how to cut it. So when you're doing a haircut like this, always take time to comb the hair first. And take your time in this area. Everyone has a swirl in the top of the, in the crown of their head, but notice how I'm just taking my time and just combing the hair and then, and then going with the clipper. All right, so here we're gonna take the Wild Legends with the lever fully open and make our guideline. And we're going up about an inch. Here you see me knock down the lever fully closed and we're beginning to blend out that guideline. You see me open the lever once again. And you see me open it up one more time. So opening up the lever twice, that should remove, that should blend out that entire bottom guideline. And of course you can go back and do some lever play, but for the most part, opening the, opening the lever twice will get the line out. And while I have this clipper in my hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this step around the entire head. I'm not doing anything different that I just did from the left side. I'm just repeating the exact same steps. As you can see, I opened it twice, just like I opened it twice on the left side. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the right side of the head. Okay, so here we take the zero guard again and the lever is fully open. So remember, we did a zero closed on top. So a zero open should blend right into that zero closed. And here you see me knock down the lever. And then I open it about halfway. So I did a zero closed on top. I started out when I'm beginning to blend, I started out with the zero open, that should blend into the zero closed, and then I open the lever halfway to go in between the zero open and zero closed. And now all I'm doing is just 
taking the, the clipper with no guard on and just flicking at that line. And that should blend everything together. If I just confuse you guys, just rewind it just a little bit and you'll get exactly what I'm saying. All I'm doing now is just using the corner of the blade to get certain dark spots. And at the back of the head, I'm gonna repeat the same exact steps. This is the zero open, blend it into that zero closed. Okay, now we, you see me close the lever all of the way. Okay, and now I'm going in between that zero open and zero closed. That's all it is, guys. This is the only guard necessary for this haircut. And then once again, I'm just taking the clipper with the lever fully open, no guard on, and just flicking at that line. I'm just removing any dark spots that I see. So you may see me open or close the lever as needed. And if you haven't figured it out by now, guess what? We're doing the exact same steps on this side. The same thing that we did on the left and the right and the back side, we're gonna do on this right side. So that's the that's really the simple rule, guys. Whatever you do to one side, you do it to all sides. I think that's where some people get they get lost in haircuts sometimes. It just once you have a method, just follow those steps around the entire head. That's all you have to do. And remember, practice makes progress. The more you practice this, guys, the better you'll get. The better you'll get, and you'll just you'll start to see the difference in your haircuts. I said this in other videos, but you can watch haircut tutorials every day, but until you get clippers and trimmers in your hand and actually do the work, you'll never actually be able to do the haircuts at an elite level. So my advice to you guys is practice as much as you can. But what I'm about to do right now, this is just some Tresemme holding spray. I'm just about to lay his hair down. And this is just some wave mousse. And all I'm doing is just brushing it in to lay the hair down. You see I'm using my blow dryer to hold it in place. Now he has a naturally high arch over his ears, so I don't even have to really stretch it or you know push it high or anything like that. It just it's already high, so just naturally edge it up. Notice I keep that comb in my hand to keep combing out any of the fly hairs just so it won't stick over his hairline. Remember guys, to keep everything natural, try to find that balance point between natural and sharp. You want a straight line, just you don't want to take off too much hair. So the golden rule that I have is take off as least hair as possible with getting the line as straight as possible. And if you feel like you're getting value out of this, guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click that, click that subscribe button for me. It will really help this channel out.
let me know in the comments what you guys think about this haircut. Also, if you have any other haircut suggestions, comment them below and I'll try to do them on a different model. This is the finished product guys, so let me know what you think. Be sure to check out our other videos and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.